our living Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Let us move forward, please. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. Blessing and glory. Thanksgiving and honor, and honor, power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings and glory. Thanksgiving and honor, power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Let us appreciate God. Let us lift His name more fire. Let us. Adore him. Let us thank God for being in his presence once again this morning. Let us lift his name on fire. Father, we say you are worthy of our praises. Let us thank God that on this service, God will take control of everything we want to do. Let us thank God for being our guide, our provider. Our healer, let us thank him for being our redeemer. Let us appreciate him. That Lord King of Kings, you say, he will take absolute control of everything we want to do today. I set our thanks in Jesus' name. I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. And let us pray that every power, principalities, every contrary spirit, Lord, should put them to bondage in the name of Jesus. Father, we soak the whole church in the blood of Jesus. We soak the whole company in the blood of Jesus. Our soul and spirit be sanctified with the blood of Jesus. Holy Spirit divine, we call upon you that everything you are going to do today, you take control of it in Jesus' name. Manifest your glory, your power, your goodness in our midst in Jesus' name. Lord King of Kings, you say you have, you have been saved to serve you. Lord King of Kings, as you have been saved, we pray for more Holy Spirit empowerment upon our lives to serve you rightly, to do your work rightly, to evangelize for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come and take control of everything today in Jesus' name. Amen. All those that we minister, we commit them to your hands. Let them, let them, King of Kings, let them do everything according to your will in Jesus' name. Amen. Manifest your glory, Amen. your power your goodness in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are here this morning, we will not go home the same in Jesus' name. Amen. There will be total turnaround concerning our situation, our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Increase the Holy Spirit in our lives. Amen. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Our Lord is good. All the time. Let's begin to bless the name of Jesus. Let's worship Lord for the privilege he has given you and your family to be out here this morning to worship, to give him praise. Thank God for the mercy. The Bible says that we enjoy the mercies of the Lord, the brand new mercy of the Lord every day. So the mercy of yesterday is different from the mercy that you are enjoying today. Everything you are enjoying today is brand new. Brand new life, brand new mercy, brand new loving kindness. I want you to lift up your hands and show gratitude to God this morning. Tell him, Father, I am thankful. Father, I am thankful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. If 
you know that song, I just want you to sing it by yourself. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, the first the last, the author and finisher of our faith. The Bible says that he knows the end from the beginning. So no matter what you're going through right now, God knows the end. And there's always light at the end of the tunnel with God. I want you to sing that song. If you know that you're serving the one who knows the end from the beginning, I want you to sing that song with that understanding. Oh, may God, you Yeah. He is the living word. Oh, yes. 
the matchless one, unquestionable God. Say, somebody sing out. Oh, come on. Worship the name of Jesus. Hey, the name of every other name. Son of God, the Son of God. One more time, sing the the second quarter. Show gratitude. Go to three, three individuals. Tell three people, we are in the second quarter of the year. It is time to show gratitude. We are in the second quarter of the year. It is time to show gratitude. God has seen you through the second quarter of the year. It is time to show gratitude. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you ready to praise God right now? Oh yes. Come on. Somebody say One more time. Play one more time. Play one more time. Let's go. Play. Hey, so bad shuku. So bad shuku. So bad shuku. He has done it for me. Has he done it for you? You have a witness in the house. So bad shuku. Hey. So bad shuku. Yeah, 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 yeah. So beautiful, he has done it for me. Listen, even before I pray, Jehovah needs the answer. Me say, so beautiful, he has done it for me. Do I have a witness in the house? Even before I pray, Jehovah needs the answer. To me so beautiful, he has done it for me. See the way he answered me. Come on! This is it. Come on, join me, worship I cannot see you dancing, Listen to this one. Listen. When I was worried and couldn't sleep, he was walking behind the scenes. Say, so big, so cool. He has done it for me. He has taken away my pain and given me joy and victory. No, 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 no. So big, so cool. He has done it for me. See the way he Listen, this is the highest life. Praise the Lord. This is the highest life. Hallelujah. This is the life that God has given us. Salvation, eternity, peace of mind. You know that even when you don't have money in your pocket, you are rest assured that you have a rock behind you that you can stand on. Do I have a witness in the house? Oh yes. Do I have a witness in the house? Oh yes. So we are going to sing that song one more time. Are you ready? Let me sing it now. Listen to this one. Hey. When I was worried and couldn't sleep, he was walking behind the scenes for me. Say, so bet you go, he has done it for me. Hey, he has taken away my pain. 
Given me joy and victory, na na na. So we to go the answer. See the way he answered me, oh. So we to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we to go. Somebody say. So we to go. He has done it for me. Come and join me, worship me, oh. So we to go. Go back on the cole, oh. So we to go. Go back on the cole. So we to go. He has done it for me. What I say? This is not enough. Praise you enough. Hey, you're too much about me. Say, you deserve more than I give This is not enough. This is not enough. Hey, 
Worship the name of the Lord. Exalt his holy name. He has put joy in our hearts. He has put laughter in our hearts. He has put dancing in our hearts. Express your gratitude. Let him know you acknowledge him alone as your God. Let him know that you acknowledge he alone as the giver of all good things. That you have. Worship his majesty. Worship his supremacy. The Lord is in the house. Let all people tremble before him. Magnify his holy name. Worship the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Let's sit down for a few minutes, please. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, please be expectant, allowing no distraction at all, so that you will receive your own word. So that the Holy Spirit will speak to you. God will be taking us through the topic. Saved to serve. Saved to serve. The purpose of salvation was stated in Exodus chapter 4. Exodus chapter 4. Verse 23a. It says, So I say to you, let my son go that he may serve me. Let my son go that he may serve me. So you, for that situation, and if we go now, you tell that situation, I must go. I must break I must break God. So that I may God has saved us to serve him. That is the purpose of salvation. Are we serving him as we should? With our time, with our service, with our substance, God gives specification. If you look at His word, He will tell them the mountain to go to. The type of offering they are doing. So, are you serving God according to His own terms? Or according to how you want to serve him. So this morning, please open up your heart to the Holy Spirit. You will know so that he will teach you how to serve God. He will teach you how God wants you to work with him. And you will understand the purpose for which you are saved. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. We'll continue our glorious service by taking our hands. Hymn number one to four. Ori one two four. At page one to two of our hymn. Ele to wa lori oju we one two two. Hymn number one two four. Ori one two four. To wa loju we ori one two four. At page one to two of our. Ele to wa loju we we one two two. I'm pressing on the upward way. Only mo se si wa ju ni ono. New height. Gaining every day. Still praying as I homeward bound. Lord, plant my feet on the ground. Lord, me up. And let me stand. My faith on Canaan's stable land. The higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on the higher ground. Pressing on the upward way, you are again. In every day, praying on the upward ground, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. Lord, let me on 
At this moment, we'd like to recognize some special people among us. They are worshiping with us for the first time. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, please indicate by raising up your hand. Please come forward. Please come forward. I want to celebrate Jesus. Please come forward. to our midst in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and on behalf of our Father Reverend J.S.C. and we know that as I have worshipped with us today the power of God will touch your life the power of God will transform you the power of God will remove every negativity in your life you will come back here that's why I've got scripture. All the congregation to pray for the man of God that the Lord will touch him. The Lord will touch him. The Lord will touch his life. The Lord will touch his life. The Lord will remove every limitation in his life. He will begin to experience the newness of God in his life. The power of God will change him. Today he will encounter the sound in Jesus name the people of God have prayed for you and you will experience transformation in Jesus Jesus. please go and meet our brother in worship praise the Lord hallelujah please we will take the announcement from the media Good morning, church. My name is Demisola Ayoye, and I'm glad to bring to you the TCLC News live from the City of the Lord Church headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. If this is your first time of joining us in this service, we say a big welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. This is your year of greatness. For the sake of order and good ambience in the service, we implore you to pay attention and follow the instructions given by the ushers as soon as you enter into the auditorium. On Sundays, we hold two services in this auditorium. The first service is between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 9 a.m. and the second service between 10 a.m. and 12 noon. While the Sunday school class holds between 9 a.m. and 9.50 a.m. Believers Bible and Baptism Our Class holds on Sundays between 9 a.m. and 9.50 a.m. New converts should please meet with Pastor Yemi Oyetunji or Evangelist Dari Ajibola as it is important that those who have just given their life to Jesus Christ attend this class. The care and hospitality department of our great church is taking this medium to thank the entire church 
for the support and turnout during the Hit the Street and Picnic program. May the good Lord bless and keep us all in Jesus' name. The Men's Fellowship of the City of the Lord Church will be observing 12 hours in God's presence, themed the new love for God. On the 21st to 22nd of April, 2023, venue is 25 Kudura Soul Street, off Koka Road, Orimolade, Ipako, Ijayo. The host is our very own father, Reverend JSA Oladele. If you would like to join the TCLC News Unit, kindly reach out to Brother Olariwadu Ayaye for registration. Experience in the broadcast industry is a plus. The church prophetic sticker for this year is out. A copy is 200 naira only. Grab yours now. Thank you for joining us today on the TCLC News. If there is any other information, it will be made known to you in the course of this service. My name remains Genisola Ayaye. Thank you once again. Do enjoy the rest of the service. Stay blessed. Praise the Lord. The additional information we have to pass across to you are the members of the men fellowship will be having an emergency meeting after the service. The elders fellowship will be having a special breakfast meeting. On on the 13th of May and the team of the program it's a special breakfast program and it will be coming up in the church auditorium on the 13th of May 2023 at 8 a.m. please endeavor to attend also lectures for the Lord City Bible Institute. At last we come. At this very time, we come. There is time for you to enroll. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the members of the Governing Council are hereby notified that their meeting will be immediately after the service. I want to enjoy your money, but I want to get it. Not 2 p.m. immediately after the service. Please let us endeavor to the, the concerned members to please take notes. Also, the triumphant squad will be having their meeting on Wednesday by 12 midnight. Please. All members of the triumphant squad. It's a video. Please, all members of the triumphant squad should please take notes. And the Lord will strengthen us as we do His work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time for us to bring forward our tithes. Let us bring forward our tithes. And let us stretch forth our tithes unto the Lord. And command the blessings of of titans that by reason of this titan the Lord will open the windows of heaven and by reason of this titan disease will be taken away from my father by reason of this titan by reason and my financial breakthrough. Is that in Jesus' name. We book devourers, we book devourers in your business, in your family, on all what you are taking, I will book devourers. I haven't made this decree. Let us try to leave it dancing and singing unto the Lord. Whether you are dropping your tights or not, please stand up. Oh, oh, oh. 
This is a special thanksgiving. I want you to think about it. Think about the goodness of the Lord. Think about the faithfulness of the Lord over your life. Hey, oh yeah, man, the people in Nala. Oh yeah, the people in Nala. 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 Oh, <laughs>
because you have brought your offering before the Lord this morning, Lord, we grant all your heart desires in Jesus' name. Everything you have proposed to do, everything you are planning to do, the Lord will fulfill you. In, in the name of the Lord, you will celebrate your victory over in the name of the Lord, you will celebrate your victory over sickness in Jesus the name of the Lord, you will celebrate your victory over that thing that you cannot, that say you cannot do in Jesus' name. Everyone will testify of the goodness of the Lord in your life. In Jesus name I it's now time for us to hear the word of God as I call the man of God who feed us with the word of God Pastor Fuan. generation after generation keep praising you yet no word sounds you well then I ask the Lord then I ask the Lord what name is you what name is you then he says yeah then he says yeah oh Say generation, after generation, keep praising you, keep praising you. Yet no word, yet no word serves you. Then I ask the Lord, then I ask the Lord, what name fits you? Then they said, yeah, then they said, yeah. give you thanks. Father, we worship your name. Father, we exalt your name. You are mighty in your ways. You are beautiful in your doings. We thank you for the privilege to gather in your presence this morning. Thank you for all the answers you've granted to our prayers. Thank you for the blessings that we have received from your presence today. Lord, we ask that you speak to us again this morning. We ask that your word will change us. We ask that your word will destroy every barriers in our ways. We ask, oh God, Lord, that no one will return the same way they came today. Beautify every worshiper today in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself in our lives in the name of Jesus. Send your word with power to us. And may your name be glorified forever. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Praise the name of Jesus. 
I'm sure you are happy to be in the presence of God today. The Bible says, blessed is the man that thou choosest, that thou causest to approach unto you. It said you will satisfy him with the goodness of your house. If the only thing you are returning home today is the goodness of his house, I'm telling you, you are far ahead of all of your contemporaries that are not here today. You will not lose the blessing you are going home today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate the name of the Lord Jesus and please you may be seated. It's always a great privilege for me to be able to bring the word of the Lord to you. The privilege given by God through the leadership of this church. And one that I'm not taking lightly at all. Thank you very much, sir. Today, we're going to be looking at saved to serve. Saved to serve. About two weeks ago, actually two weeks ago, not about, Pastor Tunde was speaking to us and he was telling us about a particular man. According to him, the man was from Igbora. He said the man borrowed money. And the man couldn't pay back. Giving his land as security. You know, but someone came and guaranteed that debt. And deliver the original borrower from the rot of the lender. He saved the man from Igora from the consequences of his unpaid debt. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a mighty demonstration of the concept of substitution. And I want us to explore that topic a bit deeper today. Why would a person guarantee another's death? Why would a person take another person's position? I know of a very close brother of mine you know, who guarantees someone else's death. But unfortunately, this person did not have any land to give him. So when the person couldn't pay, they called on him to come and pay the guy's debt. He paid, but he didn't have any land from Igora. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, this man that Pastor Tunde described two weeks ago, he said the land that he took from the original lender has become his own. And he can choose to do whatever he likes with the land. He can choose to return it to the original borrower. Or he can simply sit on the land until the guy finds the money to pay him. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you consider this mystery, this is exactly what Jesus Christ did for you and I. But why did he come so low to reposition us to sit in heavenly places? Jesus was living jejele with his father. He had everything available unto him. But a time came when he had to come to this world to take the form of man to die for our sins. 
Why would he do that? For those of us in paid employment, there is no employer of labor that just employs people just to pay them benefits. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no employer of labor today that I know that we just employ you just to pay you. You are employed to perform certain roles. You are employed to do certain responsibilities and duties. So the things that you get from this employment and benefits they are only consequential to your roles and responsibilities. It is when you do those things very well that you are qualified to receive payment. In the book of Isaiah chapter 52 verses 13 to 15 and then 53 1 to the end 1 to the end we are not going to read we are not going to read the two scriptures but when you get home I want you to sit down and study these verses of scriptures Isaiah 52 13 to 15 Isaiah 53 1 to 13 these scriptures describes how Jesus will come into this world it describes in great detail the kind of death that Jesus was going to die. It described how Jesus was going to suffer for the people that he was trying to save. It described the humiliation that he was going to go through. Simply because God was going to place the entire iniquity of the world upon his shoulders. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But why would God release his only son. At that time, he didn't have another one. He was the only son that he had. Why will you release that son to come and suffer the things that are described in these verses of the scriptures? And why would Jesus himself even agree to do such? Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why it is important for us to consider the mystery of salvation. So, if you look at the concept of salvation, which was the result of the suffering of Jesus, what does it mean to be saved? Because we said, saved to serve. So, what does it mean to be saved? In the book of John chapter 3, John chapter 3, I'm sure we all know the story from verse 1 to 17. It was the story of a Pharisee called Nicodemus. The Bible says Nicodemus came to Jesus at night. But there was something that I found very profound in the description of Nicodemus. The Bible says he was the leader of, he was the ruler of the Jews. He was a very senior member of the synagogue. But Nicodemus did not have the concept of salvation. Nicodemus came to Jesus at night and he said, what will I do for me to be saved? Nicodemus was a leader, was a ruler, ruler in the temple. 
So the fact that you are a ruler in church does not mean you are saved. The fact that you are a pastor does not mean you are saved. The fact that you are singing in the choir does not mean you are found Christ. The Bible says Nicodemus was a ruler. But he didn't know the concept of salvation. So when you are saved, it means you are born again. It means you have been reborn. You have been born through the spirit and the water. You have accessed the sacrifice of Jesus through his blood. You are no longer your own. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 b the Bible says you are not your own. First Corinthians 6 verse 20 the Bible says for you were bought at a price. You are set aside for God. You have been consecrated unto God. Does this describe you? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 21, the Bible says, These people have I formed for myself. And said, They shall show forth my praise. They shall show forth my praise. If you cannot confidently say that, been consecrated unto Christ. If you cannot confidently say that you have accessed the new birth that comes through the sacrifice of Jesus, then it doesn't matter the position you are holding in church. The Bible says you are not saved. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What a great opportunity we have today to release our Ourselves unto God. So salvation is a powerful experience. And the blessing that comes with salvation cannot be quantified. But just the way that um, no employers employ people for the sake of paying benefits. You are not just saved just to sit down. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The blessings of salvation also come with responsibilities. The blessings of salvation come with certain responsibilities. In the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14. The Bible says, How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God. Put your conscience from dead works. To do what? Church, to do what? To serve the living God. In our anchor scripture of Exodus chapter 4 verse 23, the Bible says, let my son go so that he can serve me. It means you are not qualified to go if you are not ready to serve. You are not qualified to go if you are not ready to serve. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, the singular motivation the singular motivation of God to send his son Jesus to save you and I is so that we can serve in his vineyard. We saw the story of conversion of one woman called Paul of Tarsus. Before Paul was converted to Christ, 
when he was still Saul, he had one principal aim in life to persecute the Christians and to destroy the church of Christ. But when Jesus met him in the book of Acts, chapter 9, the Bible, the Bible says Jesus told him, Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? But that is not the end of the story. The main reason why Jesus Christ saved Saul and turned him to Paul was seen in the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 15. Acts chapter 9 verse 15. The Bible says, but the Lord said to him, this was God speaking to brother Aeneas. No, no, God was speaking to Apostle Aeneas or brother Aeneas. When he was saying that he should go and pray for Saul, he said, Go, for he is a chosen vessel. He is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, before kings, and the children of Israel. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of the great men that you will read about, all of the great men that we have seen and read about in the scripture, from Old Testament to the New Testament, they were saved or they were called to do certain things. And that is why all of them were referred to as the servant of God. If you look at Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 18 verse 17 the Bible says Abraham my servant Abraham my servant Moses in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 5 the Bible says so Moses the servant of the Lord as touching Caleb in number chapter chapter 14 verse 24 it said but my servant Caleb but my servant Caleb and in the book of Job chapter 1 verse 8 God was 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 showing up Job God was showing up of Job and he said to Satan he said have you considered my servant Job all of these men they have one thing in common they were servants of God servants of God praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the New Testament we also saw all of the apostles from James to Peter to Jude to John, to Paul himself, all of them referred to themselves as servants of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So greatness in this kingdom is strictly tied to servanthood. Is strictly tied to servanthood. So what does it mean to be saved? Oh, sorry, what, what does servant, servanthood entail? What does servanthood entail? What does servant, what if you want to serve? What do you need to have? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number one, Obedience. Obedience. It's not LP type of obedience. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Obedience. In the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 16, the Bible says, Do you know that to whom you present yourselves? Slaves to obey. It says you are the one slave whom you obey. At the heart of servanthood, at the heart of servanthood, at the heart of servanthood is obedience. 
The greatest service of a believer the greatest service of a believer to God is obedience. You cannot serve a God you are not willing to obey. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is impossible for you to serve anyone God inclusive that you are not willing to obey. That is why in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 46 the Bible says why call you me Lord Lord and not do the things which I say. If you are not doing the things that God has commanded you, it is impossible for you to serve him. You know, my wife loves to watch uh, these old time movies. You know, where, where people that inhabited the earth long, long time ago. They will go to war. They will go and conquer another city. Then they will take slaves and bring them back. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When they sell these slaves, the slave has become the property of the new master. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They become the property of their masters. And once this happens, once they are captured and you become a slave, you have no right of your own. You have no right of your own. And your master demands from you unquestionable obedience. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm sure you are all also, you are also aware all of this fight that we are fighting now during the colonial time when they carried our grandfather and our, and our grandmother, great, 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 great grandfather and mothers, and they took them away. They made them to do the things that they didn't want to do. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember we visited one castle in Scotland. It was an old castle. You know, and we saw, we saw, we still saw the shoes of the slave masters back then. You know, and one of the silly guys that we went with, he was saying to me that maybe it was your great great grandfather that shined the shoes. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The slave master demand unquestionable obedience. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is true that we are children of God. But we are also servants. Of God. Paul would easily describe, me, describe himself as slave of God. He bought us with his precious blood. So he does not only demand, but he deserves our utmost obedience. How many of us have seen the passion of the cross? Or the, passion, the, the passion of Christ. The Christ. The passion of Christ. How many of us have seen it? If you've seen that movie, lift up your hands. So you don't watch that kind of movies in this church. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It shows there's no time that I've watched that movie that I've not cried. You need to see how the, and this is, they have just tried to package it. That is not actually the real thing. That was not how he was beaten. It was worse than that. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So that was what he went through to save you and I. Now the least we can do is to obey him. So is our Lord, is our Savior, and he demands and deserves our, our What does service entails? Number two, 
Humility. 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 Obedience is not possible without humility. When we have a humble opinion of ourselves, we are receptive to the idea of complete obedience. People of God, the only reason why some people will never serve in church is because of their ego. There is no service unit that defeats their status. If you say go to children's church, you say with my PhD, I should now go and do a No, I cannot do that. You say, okay, go to the choir. You say, ah. I'll be wearing uniform. No, 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 I cannot do that. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They say, okay, come and preach. They say, what is the topic? They say, salvation. They say, no, that is left for early Christians. Not for changing prophet like us. They say, okay, go, to, go and serve in the elders forum. They say, no, I cannot go to old people's room. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The only reason they cannot speak is because of their ego. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are not humble, you cannot serve. If you are not humble, you cannot serve. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But if you look at Paul in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Paul was trying to describe himself. He said, for I am the least of the apostles. He said, I am the least. He said, I am not even worthy to be called an apostle. I am not even worthy to be called. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8, Paul said unto me who am less than the least of all sins. Unto me who am least than the least of all things. Well, this is Paul today. speaking of Paul, Paul, Paul the Apostle. Paul, Paul, Apostoli, he, wrote, he wrote to thought of the entire oh. New Testament. <laughs> Yet, he still said, unto me, <laughs> who is lower <laughs> than the least <laughs> of all things. <laughs> Paul is saying that I'm lower than you. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Paul is saying I'm, is that he was lower than me. That's what he's saying. <laughs> I have not written one letter <laughs> in the Bible. <laughs> and yet, the person that wrote two thought of the <laughs> entire New Testament <laughs> is describing himself <laughs> as lower Lower than the least of the saints. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The only thing you have been given is cell leader. Cell leader. Then none of your cell members will rest. They greet you, you say they did not greet properly. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Papa. Humility is key if you want to serve in the kingdom of God. Without humility, you cannot serve. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But there's an admonition for us in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Paul was speaking, he said, be ye followers of me. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. And the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 5, Jesus was, you know, he was speaking, he said, let this mind be in you. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He said, even though he was God, he counted not robbery to be the same with God. He said, but he humbled himself 
He humbled himself. He humbled himself. If your purpose is to serve, if your plan is to serve in his vineyard, a key requirement is that you humble yourself. If you are not humble, you cannot serve. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we close, number three is loyalty. 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 Service required absolute loyalty. Or if you like, you can say faithfulness. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2, the Bible says it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Loyalty means placing the proud the, the, the interest of the person you are serving above your own self. Is your priority. Your priority is to please him. Your priority is to serve him. Your priority is to do the things that pleases him. It's not to do things that are gained to you. Paul say all these things I can them I can them zero. So you must count everything zero for you to be accounted as faithful. Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, Paul was speaking, he said, for do I now persuade men or do I seek to please men? He said, for if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. If I please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. If the only time you come to church is when that is around, you should not be counted as servant of Christ. If the only time you will sweep is when the deal is at the door. You should not be counted as servant of Christ. If the only time you would do anything in church is when someone is looking at you, Paul says you should not be counted as servant of Christ. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to be selfless. You have to be loyal. You have to be faithful in the discharge of your duty. In conclusion, one of the key hindrances to our ability to serve God is serving other masters. Serving other masters. And at the root of this is the love of the world. The love of the world. In the book of 1 John chapter 2 verse 15 the Bible says down by ye, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. He said, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, he said, They are not of the Father. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are not of the Father. In the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 24. The Bible says, no man can serve two masters. It's either you are serving yourself or you are serving God. It's either you are serving your pocket or you are serving God. It's either you are serving man or you are serving God. So every time that you claim to be serving God, it's important for you to ask yourself a pertinent question. If nobody is looking at me, will I still be doing what I'm doing? 
Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If I have nothing to gain, nothing at all to gain from what I'm doing, will I still be doing what I'm doing? If they come tomorrow and they say there is no heaven, will you still be a Christian? Praise the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you pray and God did not answer you, will you still be serving him? If that job you are asking for, if it doesn't come through, will you still be serving God? If your situation does not change, will you still be serving God? The Bible says no man can serve two masters. It's either you are serving God or you are serving your own interests. But if you will seek him first, according to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, you will not me to pursue all these other things. Oh, the Bible says it is impossible for you to serve two masters. You will either love one and hate the other. He said no man can serve God and mammon. I want you to be on your feet. And I want you to begin to commit yourself unto God. Oh, to Jesus, I, I surrender all to Him. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence. Grant me the grace to surrender all to you. Grace to serve you faithfully. Grace to serve you selflessly. Grace to serve you with all my heart. Praise to God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Lord will grant you the grace to serve him with the whole of your heart faithfully, effectively in the name of Jesus. You will not be distracted in any way in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want you to pray for the vessel the Lord has used to bless you. Bless him also. Bless him also. In Jesus' name. 
As you have preached the word, the word will not stand against you. As the people are blessed, you are blessed bountifully. In the name of Jesus, this will not be the last you will preach. Please preach more and more. And as you preach the word, souls will be released into the kingdom. They will abound and they will be blessed abundantly. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's go to our kingdom investment.